Hello grade 6 students and welcome to this lesson. Before we start, please prepare your things, your markers, your mini boards, your textbooks and your workbooks. Let's start. Here we go. Grade 6, Family and Friends, Unit 8, We Are Fishing, Lesson 2, Grammar, Past, Continuous. By the end of the lesson, the student will be able to 1. To relate pronouns to was and where 2. To form questions and sentences using past continuous tense Now, if we are going to write sentences, we are going to use this form We are going to start with pronouns and then we are going to add was or wasn't if we are going to talk about singular where or weren't if we are going to talk about plural and then we are going to add verb with past continuous which is I and G these are the singular pronouns he she it and I and they go with was or wasn't these are the plural pronouns they, we, you and they go with where or weren't and as you can see there are some examples of verb with past continuous such as eating, sleeping, writing and playing now the question is when do we use past continuous? we use past continuous to describe actions happening at a certain time at the past now we are going to have some examples using this form I am going to start with was or wasn't number one Khalid was making noise number two she wasn't sweeping the floor number three the dog was barking loudly number four I was talking to my friend on the phone now moving to where or weren't number one they were helping their mother in the kitchen number two we were decorating the hall for tonight's party number three you were flying the kate at the weekend Now, we are going to form questions using past continuous tense. But before we do that, please make sure of three things. Number one, we need to end the questions with a question mark. Number two, we need to use was or where for short answers like yes or no. Number three, we need to use WH words such as what, where, when, why, how, etc. for long answers. Let's practice together. Sentence 1 They were helping their mother in the kitchen. Now, if we are going to form questions, we are going to exchange they and where. In the question, we are going to say, were they helping their mother in the kitchen? The answer, yes, they were. Sentence 2 
Sentence 2 I was talking to my friend on the phone. Now, we are going to make it as a question. So, we are going to use you instead of I. And we are going to change was to where because we used you. So, the question is going to be what were you doing? The answer, I was talking to my friend on the phone. Sentence 3 You were flying the kite at the weekend. And the question, Were you flying the kite at the weekend? The answer, Yes, I was. Remember, we have exchanged you and where. And the question, we are going to start with where you. Sentence 4 You were flying the kids at the weekend. And the question What were you flying at the weekend? The answer I was flying a kids. Sentence 5 they were helping their mother in the kitchen. Now in the question, were they helping their mother in the kitchen? The answer, yes, they were. Now it's your turn. Complete the sentences with suitable answers using past continuous use the ones in the brackets you have two minutes Are you done? Let's check together. Number one.
check your answers number one at nine o'clock my brother and sister were watching TV number two at ten o'clock Jack and Lala were riding their bikes in the park number three last Friday I was finishing my project number five yesterday noon my parents were visiting our neighbors number six Ahmed was cleaning his room last Monday number seven monkeys were jumping when children threw bananas at them in this activity you are going to write sentences using past continuous tense look at the pictures and use the verbs in the brackets you have two minutes Are you done? Excellent! Now check your answers. Number one, the man was cleaning the road. Number two, Mrs. Emma was teaching us math. Number three, I was painting in my room. Number four, my brother was cutting the leaves. Number five, we were watching TV in the living room. You did a great job in this lesson. This is the end of the lesson. Thank you very much.